pyramid here. So we have a um, Omega 2000 motherboard, and um, it's not recognized when you move the mouse. Like the movement of the mouse is not recognized. So I thought we didn't investigate what the problem is, and then I kind of set up the test environment, and then I actually took the um, relevant page of the circuit diagram identified that um, the movement um, detection goes through only one chip and that's this one here and, um, and I was thinking you know ah, we break out the oscilloscope and start the system and measure and that and I found out a small little thing with this so I'm gonna bring you in closer so you can actually see what I mean so let's dive in and have a Look at the chip and everything looks normal when you're looking at it from above and then you come close enough and you come down to the board level and you notice that it's um <laughs> it's very very crooked from the factory already and then the other thing that i have observed is probably not going to be easy to see in the video but um there is corrosion on the pins so i'm not even very yeah it's not clear if that grounding is even keeping and so on the other side these pins weren't even fully in so so i think i'm actually not going to do any testing i'm just going to um uh, desolder this put in a socket and see if i have one of these ttl chips i think i actually do put a new one in uh, and, and then we'll come back and test it uh, so let's get to work and get that changed so anyway, to make it a bit easier to take out, I'm going to add some solder, some new solder. So we have to use the soldering pump. And to get it out. Yeah, this side's gonna be gonna be a lot trickier to do because the pins is twisted. So I got um, that side pulled through. So now I'm going to have to work on this more difficult side. And it's probably hard to see, but the pin comes through and it's like sideways. I have to try and persuade it out with some, with some pliers without actually destroying the board. Oh, it's a bit of a struggle, but I got it out and as you see the pins are very off. Well now I think I can... Um, Use the soldering pump to clean the holes out. There's a few of them that need to be cleaned through, so I'll get that done. Now it should be clean enough to uh, put a new socket there at least. And try and find the correct chip. And then this fix will be done. So, that's the socket in place and then i uh, actually able to find my brand new chip. So, put it in there and then we put it on the test bench and see if there was an improvement. And even if this doesn't fix it, I'm actually happy to change this because really having a crooked um, TTL is not my idea <laughs> of a nice thing to have. So, here we are, chip in place. So, moving on. I put the diagnostics wrong in to make it easier. I just have to deal with it booting times and stuff so then I went to the section where it, it where you can test the mouse and joystick so here it gives reads the hardware registries for the uh, inputs and if you press a mouse button right left oh sorry if you hit both of them at the same time then it exits <laughs> that's as intended So, over there again, and 
Then I thought we'd have a look at the multiplexer ship and see what it's doing or not doing. So what happens is that the signals from the two ports goes through this chip here and it has a select signal. So let's have a look at the multiplex signal and that should be on pin 1. valid signal. So that means that it's it's like it's the signal that tells which port it should be reading and it flops backwards and forwards. Now I already looked at the, the diagram here and um, for one of the inputs for the um, joystick for the mouse and that will be on pin 14 Move the mouse and no action. So, and then the next thing I want to investigate is that there's. So it's seemingly that mouse is not sending any um, signals to the to the port, or, which would indicate that there might be a might be that the mouse is not being powered, so let's have a look at the um, power circuit, and it's on pin 7. FB 250. was easy to find. So that's actually here. And ah, the fuse is right next to it. So there's a fuse here which is not a glass tube fuse, it's a yeah what one we we'll call it semicon ah a fully encapsulated fuse and a single use fuse as far as I can see from this diagram. I don't think it's an electronic fuse. Like, I mean, that if it gets triggered, then there's a delay, and then it comes back, or it activates. I think it is actually quite probably a fuse that dies. That's 5 volts. And nothing on the other side. So, according to this diagram, the power for the mouse, it comes from a 5 volt rail and it goes through um, a filtering component or a bead, or one of these bead things. That's to um, dampen high, you know, these sort of electrostatic stuff and into, uh, actually in this case to block the electronic interference from exiting out the port. And then it hits this um, fuse. And I think that the fuse is dead. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure that with a multimeter and see, see if it actually does work. So, got the multimeter, annoying beep mode. Always good to check that it actually does beep. And then, of course, we should probably turn the power off. There. Probably not good to measure with power on. Yeah. Now that fuse is dead, so... I wouldn't like to just short circuit it because that's bad practices. If you have some faulty mouse or something, then it could um, 
actually cause a real short circuit. So, but uh, the, we know that that's dead. What I could do is I could short circuit it temporarily and see if the mouse stops working. So I think I'll do that. I need to need to look at my toolkit and see if I can find one of those. One of those. Um, yeah. Back in a second. So, it took a little while to find, but it's... Ah! Damn, I keep falling apart. Just a sec. Anyway, good show it though. So you have these kind of things, and then it's got this cover for it. circuit onto anything else. Bingo. So no, it should be working. Fuse problem. So I have to figure out where to get. Come on, get. I mean, these types of views do exist uh, in electronics, so that that's not the issue. But it would be good if I could get the same, the um, the fuse with the same um, uh, current triggering par uh, parameters, so they would actually trigger. Um, but I would say that we have identified the problem. So good. Let's see what I find. So I thought I'd do a bit of bonus. So this is um, pin 14, which is one of the um, movement um, pins on the multiplexer. So let's see what happens. See, now, now we get to see. Well, that's not working. 